All right, welcome back to your Jake of all trades. Today we're talking about shotgun mics. And as everybody knows, I've been getting lots of the Seven Rhymes line. I've also called it Seven Rims. Um, I haven't found anything yet that says that, uh, you know, it's definitely pronounced one way or another. Anyway, uh, I just got a new uh, Seven Rhymes shotgun mic. Uh, and so I'm going to compare it with the one I already have that I've probably demoed before. Now, uh, the little refresher, the one I already had before is the Minbo M2. There it is. It is a bi-directional uh, cardioid condenser microphone. It's got a switch on it. Right now it's in regular cardioid mode, and if you switch it to the back, it picks up from front and back. I'm not quite certain why you would really want to pick up from front and back at the same time. I know I have it uh, set to the back um, when I'm doing like unboxing videos or something like that, and it comes in really handy. Maybe if I was doing a behind-the-camera interview with someone, uh, but it sounds pretty good, and I've used it quite a bit. It comes with this nice little shock mount, and of course the Cables, warranty cards, all that business. And it comes with a zippered hard shell case that's pretty hard to see my current lighting setup. It's also got wind screens, you know, that whole thing. This is a nice protective case. But uh, yesterday I got this little nugget of a guy. Now this is the Minbo Mini. Uh, no switches, no knobs. Uh, it has a built-in shock mount. It's unidirectional, straight out of the front. It's got its output right there in the back. It comes with two cables. One of them is a TRS to TRS, male to male. Um, and that's used to connect to your camera or uh, wh whatever. And it comes with a TRS to TRRS to connect to your cell phone if it has a headphone jack. Since I'm using a Fujifilm camera who for some reason, as far as I know, are still sticking with the 2.5 millimeter audio input jacks. Uh, I'm using a different cable. I had to get different cables. Say la vie. Okay, well let's get to the comparison. So what you're hearing right now is the built-in microphone on the Fujifilm X-E3. And you're not going to produce high quality videos with bad quality audio. Here we go. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is the Seven Rhymes Minbo M2. It's set to cardioid, and so the audio is just coming in through the front. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And this is the Seven Rhymes Minbo Mini. It's just as simple as it gets. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Well, as you can see, the Minbo M2 is a little more in the mid-range, uh, which Maybe what you're into, maybe not. And the Minbo Mini just seems to be a little more bright and trebly. Does have a nice clarity, though. Um, if I had to pick between the two, not sure what I would. Something to keep in mind with these mics is they're both pretty affordable. In fact, I've found that the uh, Seven Rhymes line is uh, pretty much entirely affordable and lots of bang for the buck. And... Sure, if you're like a real audiophile and you've got your Rode, or Rode, or your Neumanns, or Neumanns, um, you know, you'll, you'll probably, you know, want to invest a lot more money into a microphone. Uh, but these are pretty friendly for the budget. Uh, this one here, the Minbo M2, is running $65 on Amazon right now, and... The Minbo Mini, $32.99 on Amazon right now. Now, there's also the Seven Rhymes Minbo M1, which, as far as I know, is the only microphone in their entire lineup that I don't have, unless you count the Remo Mic Lite with the lightning adapter. I do have the Remo Mic Lite. It's great, but I've got it... Um, I've got it with the USB-C adapter because I can use it. Even if compared between the two, you think the uh, the Mini sounds really horrible or something and the M2 sounds way better, it's up to your ears and what you like. 
I think this thing has so much better sound quality than uh, the built-in microphone on the camera. If if you don't spend at least what was it, thirty-two ninety-nine, on an external microphone for your camera, you're probably messing up. Get microphones. I may be getting to the end of my series on microphone testing unless I just really stumble across something really fantastic. I think my wife is probably going to get suspicious when she realizes how many microphones I have sitting around. If you're going to do any vlogging or make any kind of YouTube videos, any kind of video that involves audio from the voice or live music, anything like that, do not rely on your camera's built-in microphone. There might be some cameras out there that have really good built-in audio. From what I've heard, especially off of these uh, cameras that are generally still photography cameras that do video, they don't seem to have great built-in microphones. Less than $35. Just, just get one. Fix your audio. Just do it. You know. $32.99, I think it was. You got no excuse. Boost your game. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'm your Jake of all trades. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon, uh, tell your friends, something like that, and we'll see you next time. Peace! <laughs>